Yeah, this isn't really a rant video or another rant video by me. This isn't really that because I'm not. I don't really hate these games. I don't really hate this game franchise or anything like that. But yeah, I just would wanted to say that. So I don't know what to. I guess just to title it as my issues with this kind of thing is really what this is. So yeah, Call of Duty games, the Call of Duty franchise. As you can see on screen right here, there's millions upon millions upon millions, not millions, but there's a lot of Call of Duty games. There's a lot. There's, in my opinion, probably way too many of things, but I understand they they do they each do different things, they each tell a different story. They each have different settings, different time periods, etc., etc. But yeah. Call of Duty games. I play I played a lot of them. Here here's 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 a list right here. That's Call of Duty games in order. Well, yeah. I played a lot of them. I played a lot of the newer ones, you know, Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Black Ops, Infinite Warfare, Ghost, Black Ops, all the other Black Ops, except for the newest one, and, the, and there might be one in Advanced Warfare, and yeah, I played a lot of them, and I played most of them, most, but the most favorable ones, I'm sorry about that, most favorable ones were the earlier ones, because those are the ones I kind of more enjoyed. And I'll tell you why. The online mode back in the day, back when it was on the PS2, back when you had to fucking plug a fucking Ethernet cable to your PS2 in order to play an online game. Back then, the Call of Duty online mode or whatever was amazing. It was that was when it was peak. That when it, that's when it was cool and fun and enjoyable. I mean, granted, yes, you still had assholes back then trolling you over Mike and saying you sucked and teabagging you. Even back then, yes, it did still happen. But, you know, it wasn't as toxic. It wasn't as awful. It wasn't... You know what I mean. You know how it is back nowadays. A Call of Duty online game, an online mode of a Call of Duty game, it's filled with nothing but fucking assholes most of the time. I mean, there's granted there's some people that are nice and they're team players and nice people, friendly people. Granted, you'll find those people even in today's thing, but there's a lot of it is fucking assholes, toxic assholes, who fucking insult you for doing... Playing the way they're playing the way you always play, or fucking you know say because you know I sometimes I find a spot and I fucking camp it. I understand that's fucking a big no no in the Call of Duty world and online FPS games world. I know that's a big fucking no no camping and you know finding a spot and camping. I get that. That's a big no no, but that's how I play sometimes, or at least that's how I used to play, because I don't really play Call of Duty games anymore, but, yeah, that's how I used to play most of the time, and now, if I do that, I get called a fucking, fucking derogatory name for fucking homosexual, or, or I get called a, a waste of space, or anything like that, or a loser, or, like I said, a fucking camper, or whatever, and sometimes I, you can even get booted out and banned from fucking lobbies for camping. And I understand that. That it's kind of a douchey way to play a little bit, but it's easier for me. I can't constantly move around because I just constantly got sh get shot at and constantly fucking die. There's no fucking point of this plane nonstop moving. I understand you gotta move every so often. And I do. My cut style camping is not constant camping. It's Camping for a little bit and then moving to another spot and camping for a little bit, moving to another spot, camping for a little bit. And that's how I played back in the day when I played the Call of Duty games. That's how I played. But now, like I said, yeah, that's even that is frowned upon. And people are so fucking toxic and so fucking 
at, there's so at much there's so much assholery or you know toxic behavior and people treat each other like shit. I understand there's good pe people in there as well, like I said, but it's so toxic that barely the good barely shine through sometimes. So yeah, that's one of my issues with Call of Duty games. Also, I'll mention this as another issue that they're just so lackluster. They're so they focus so much on online modes and online gameplay and online crap that the fucking single player gets fucking ignored all the time. And I'll, and I'll say this: this right here, this little list, half of these all have good fucking single player, but especially like especially like the newer ones, like the Modern Warfare and the and the Ghost and Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare and Black Ops. They all have good fucking story modes, but the story modes get fucking ignored and left in the goddamn dust and no one gives a two shits about them because online mode and zombies mode, which zombies mode is fun I'm not gonna diss zombies mode you know, online zombies mode all outright because it is fun it's one of the more enjoyable online modes that exist with some Call of Duty games but but yeah they just focus way too much on the online mode, and I understand. There's a lot of fucking things. To, there's it, it's fun. I understand. Online modes are fun. I'm not saying they aren't fun, but it's like fucking ignoring the best thing or ignoring the ignoring one ignoring a good aspect over something that's I don't know, not as the greatest thing in the world. You know. It's, the online modes get treated as they're godly and they're the main thing for Call of Duty. In reality, and single player just fucking gets left in the goddamn dark and no one else cares about it. But yeah. That's really that. That's all about that is online single player modes need more attention, you know. And people need to care about it. People need to stop treating it like it's secondary option in the fucking Call of Duty game when in reality, single player mode or main story modes or whatever are supposed to be the main thing. Online modes is supposed to be the secondary thing. Now, if you want to make a strictly online Call of Duty game, which some of them kind of are, then don't even put a story mode in it. Don't even bother if you just want the, your main focus to be a fucking online mode, don't even bother putting a story mode in it. Just fucking do it online. Just make it on, on, an all online game. Why bother putting a story mode in it if it's if you're only going to focus on the fucking online mode? So yeah. That's my issues with this fucking franchise. And also, you know, but yeah, that's pretty much it. People need to Fucking focus more on story and less online because online's not the main fucking focus. I understand it's fun. I understand it's you know whatever. But also another thing, this is this has to go with players. I already mentioned this kind of before that the online community of Call of Duty can be fucking toxic as hell and whatever. But some of this it has to do with the over competitive fucking nature of fucking people. You know, people being over competitive ruin a lot of things and that are like, you know, online or game modes or anything like that, or just games. Sometimes people are way too competitive and they want to be the best. I guess friendly competition is fine. I'm not saying anything wrong with that, but don't ruin it for everybody else. Don't fucking rub fucking your fucking. Oh, I'm better than you in your people's faces. Don't be that kind of person. Let people enjoy the game. Stop fucking and don't fucking like insult them for, you know, not being as great and not being as good. I understand not everybody is like this, but there's a lot of it in the Call of Duty community and the people who play these games. So, yeah. Like, and. Yeah, I already mean yeah. That that's pretty much all I had to say. So, 
whether this gets misconstrued as something else or this gets any hate, you could hate me for this. I don't care. I'm not trying, but I'm not trying to diss your favorite game or diss your favorite game franchise or anything like that. My goal isn't to cause a stir, cause a fight or anything like that. So, but if you really, like I said, if you hate me for this or you want to leave a fucking disagreeing comment, hateful comment or whatever, go ahead. I really don't care. But, but yeah, I just wanted to get these fucking thoughts and opinions out of my head and talk about the issues with this, at least for me. These are all personal. You can think whatever you want of them. So, yeah. I'm gonna go, because I think I've been talking too long. So, see everybody later. Bye.